Hello, and welcome to Surgery Squad's Virtual Colonoscopy. I'm Dr. Jeff, and I will be guiding you through this colon today. Also known as the large intestine, the colon is responsible for the final stages of the digestion. It absorbs remaining water and electrolytes from indigestible food, accepts and stores food remains that weren't digested in the small intestine, and eliminates solid waste from the body. A colonoscopy allows your doctor to view inside your entire colon using a device called an endoscope. As the scope moves into your colon, your doctor views the output on the monitor to check for growths or polyps. There are several parts to the colon. The cecum ascending, the transverse, the descending, and the sigmoid. A colonoscopy can check each one of these areas. The one thing about having a colonoscopy is that a doctor can find polyps and remove them immediately. This is the most effective way to prevent the development of colorectal cancer. However, you'll need to cleanse your colon 24 hours before the test by taking laxatives or performing a fleet enema. Also, use of the endoscope might accidentally tear the colon walls and cause bleeding. Plus, you'll need to be sedated during the exam, which should take about 30 minutes or longer if any polyps are found. We have a 53-year-old female waiting for her colonoscopy. Let's get scrubbed and take care of this. Our patient is lying on her left side, knees drawn up to her stomach. She's wearing a gown, and we have a sheet draped over her. Let's set her up with an IV drip of the sedative. Great. Now we'll wait a few minutes for the sedative to take effect. Our patient is sedated and ready. She stated that she's cleansed her colon, and I've already used a lubricated gloved finger to check for blockage. Be sure to tell the patient that she should breathe slowly through her mouth to relax her stomach muscles if she feels cramping. We'll insert the endoscope into the anus and slowly move it into the colon. The endoscope contains a small camera and light, and a pair of forceps so we can remove any polyps we find. First, let's lubricate the scope for easy insertion and passage through the colon. Carefully insert the scope into the patient's anus and slowly move it into the colon. We can watch the camera's output on the monitor. We're into the rectum now. Nothing so far. Let's move on into the sigmoid colon. Slow and steady. You're doing a great job. Descending colon's next. Now's a good time to remind our patient to breathe slowly through her mouth as we do the exam. All right, let's move into the transverse colon. Uh-oh, looks like we've got a small polyp in the transverse colon. We'll use the forceps to remove it. Fine work. We'll need to remove the scope so we can bring the polyp out. First, let's use some heat to cauterize the spot and try to stop that bleeding. Fantastic. Let's slowly withdraw our scope and get that polyp out. Let's go back in to check the rest of her colon. Remember the name of the colon where we found the polyp? That's right, the transverse colon. Back in the transverse colon now. Everything's looking fine, and you're doing a great job. Now's also a good time to remind our patient to breathe through her mouth slowly. Moving now into the ascending colon. And there's another one. Let's take it out the same way we did the other.
Back in the ascending colon now, and we move into the cecum, and all looks good. Let's take out the scope and get our patient into a recovery room. Our patient is now in recovery, and she'll probably be there one to two hours. She might feel bloated or need to pass gas, and since we removed two polyps, she'll probably have a small amount of blood in her stool. We'll also do a biopsy on the polyps. She should call her doctor immediately if she has heavy rectal bleeding, lower abdominal pain, develops a fever, feels dizzy, vomits, or experiences swelling in her abdomen. Well, good news. The biopsy showed our patient's polyps were benign. Since she's in her 50s and there were polyps found, she should have a colonoscopy every year. You did a great job today. Check out our other videos on surgerysquad.com.